This is RJCNN. Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this week's episode of RJCNN. Uh, today is June 4th, 2018 and I'm RJC and I'm here to bring you all the persona, all news persona and even some other stuff too. And let's get it started now. Um, in persona news, uh, persona... Th- uh, everyone, as you uh, saw by our news broadcast last week, Persona 3 Dancing Moon Knight and Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight have been released. We got them, and the sales numbers have been released. And I guess the numbers aren't looking too good. Uh, we're looking at almost 65,000 sold uh, in total between the two games. Uh, but it's kind of hard to count these, as most of them come from the two packs or triple packs. Um, <clears throat> number. In comparison, Dancing All Night, uh, which only sold on the PlayStation Vita console, sold uh, 94,000 copies in its first week, while Persona 3 and 5 had both the PS4 and Vita in its two different games, basically giving it four times the amount of sale potential, I think. And comparing them all to other Persona spin-off games, these ones are the lowest, only beating Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Or no, just Persona 4 Arena on the Xbox 360. Which really isn't saying much, I think. Uh, this makes me super sad because I really like the games and I hope uh, that these low numbers don't discourage Atlas from having uh, more Persona 3 casts in the future. And also, don't forget to check out our unboxing and live action trailer recreation on the Compendium if you haven't yet. Um, Alright, so next up we have an official announcement that June 18th of this year, Persona 5 will be collaborating uh, with the cell phone game Grand Blue under the guise of Persona X Grand Blue uh, Fantashi. And for anyone who plays this game, you'll have two weeks uh, to play as Joker and possibly other characters from Persona 5 as well, based on this secret image shown here. Uh, And you can get a special Persona 5 gun, which was in (laughs) Persona 5. I, just, I really want a Persona 5 gun. That would be really cool. Uh, I really don't know what Grand Blue is. Maybe that's because I'm not Japanese. But uh, everyone who enjoys that game will have fun. With the, I can't stop thinking about the Persona 5 gun now. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, maybe Grand Blue has to do with Blaze Blue, which, speaking of that, uh, for the people watching this broadcast live. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, thought, I, can't, I can't stop. I can't stop thinking. Uh, like a a box with this is Persona Five. There's just a gun in it. I'm really sorry. Uh, um. <clears throat> so, for the people watching this broadcast live, you still have to wait a day, but. To the YouTube crowd or anyone watching this in the future somehow, Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle featuring the Persona 4 Arena cast on PS4 has been released as of June 5th, 2018. As to no surprise of anyone watching this, we at the Compendium will be picking this game up and we will, of course, be playing and unboxing it on Stream Pendium next week, so don't you miss it. Um, I hope this isn't a stretch for news to cover this week in Persona, but there really isn't that much. Um, our final Persona story of the day, we have these new Persona 5 wigs announced. Now, as someone who is a bit of a crossplay connoisseur, um, <clears throat> uh, official cosplay items, especially with the, the price tag of um, 7,500 yen... Seems a bit ridiculous to me. Uh, if you go to your local thrift store, or ask your parents or something, uh, you can find uh, very comparable items um, for either way, cheaper or free. That mannequin face is really creepy. Uh, but having said that, these wigs are still pretty cool. I hope more people cosplay as all these great Persona 5 characters. 
Um, <clears throat> final news. And that's it for the Persona 5 news today. Uh, and these chibi drawings, too. It may not sound like much, but if you really think about it, we played a brand new Persona game three weeks in a row on Stream Pendium after Blaze Blue comes out next week, and that's really cool. Um, I wish we could keep that trend going um, and have a new Persona, fi Persona game uh, every week until the end of the time. Maybe one day. Um... But now that that's out of the way, let's jump into the weather with Toast. Take it away, Toast. And thanks, RJC. It's now time for the weather with Toast. And as you can see, it's a beautiful day in San Diego. We got clear skies. It's sunny. Um, temperatures ranging from mid to low 80s. We got some a nice breeze wind moving from the coast eastward uh, so we west to east <laughs> um, we also have a report of a possible outbreak of the bubonic plague um, let's show you where this report came from as you see there's a there's a dead rat decomposing in a in a local swimming pool um, it's debated whether this this rat is a going to contaminate the rest of the water and possibly create a new strain of the bubonic plague. But we'll only be able to wait and see in due time. Back to you, RJC. Um, that's actually kind of scary, Toast. Uh, I really hope that plague is uh, contained to just your pool. Or at least just that pool. I don't know if it's... Anyway, doesn't get to me or Gecko. Your forecast is always appreciated. And now for our last segment of the morning, uh, Post on Politics. Take it away, Post. Oh, yay. Yay. So glad to be here. Uh. You know, I thought I'd give you a little rundown of the crew and all today. But first of all, I want to explain something. I can't tell you how many people have asked me now. Why do they call you the post? Why do they call you the post? And I truly don't know. They do. But I thought about it. And it must be because of my equipment. But anyway, I'm going to go in and give introductions to the crew, and first off, I want to talk about Fat Bastard. Now, Fat Bastard supposedly runs the whole show and everything, and uh, I don't think he's ever had a girlfriend. Uh, I don't think, hell, he may have not even seen his own equipment. Anyway, what was I getting at? I forget. <laughs> But anyway, let me get on with my story. Uh, let's just say, I'm just going to call her Hillary. I'm not going to use any last names or anything like that. But Hillary was asked one time in an interview, who were you named after? And she said, oh, Sir Hillary. He was the first man to climb Mount Everest. And really, everybody, after a little bit of research, they discovered that she was seven years old when he climbed that mountain. So, once a liar, always a liar. Uh, well, all right, Post, thanks, uh, as always, for your contributions to RJCNN. Uh, where are you? It looks like you're in Hawaii or something. Anyway, thank you to everyone uh, watching RJCNN. Uh, if you missed out on the live version, make sure to check into our Twitch channel to be part of the live chat every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be jumping over to Persona 5 Dancing Star Night for the rest of the stream today. And thank you for watching RJCNN. Ow.
This is RJCNN.